uh, hi there my name is basil and i am co-founder at co it technologies and uh, i spend a lot of my time taking training on devsecops and uh, cloud native technologies and the company that i co-founded um, co it technologies we focus on providing custom training solutions to the corporates based on demand from them so that's what we do you can reach out to me on my contact information given inside the page so let's get started with our today's topic um, so terraform is great uh, you already know that uh, many people it has become the de facto standard for maintaining and managing the infrastructure in most of the companies right so you uh, in the cloud you can provision your resources uh, the virtual machines or networks or uh, storage devices data bases or anything that you need can be maintained and managed using as called using terraform right and that's great and and it's not just terraform that you would be using in your company you would be using a lot of other tools uh, to maintain and manage this infrastructure for example you might need the deployment tools to take the latest applications to your infrastructure settings and you might be using some config management tool like ansible that would actually uh, make sure that every infrastructure component uh, look exactly how they are supposed to look like so that you, they are ready to run your applications and you might be using monitoring tools to maintain and monitor your applications and the infrastructure so uh, there would be a whole bunch of tools and technologies that your company would be using and the whole purpose of maintaining and managing your infrastructure is that you want to run your applications right i mean that's what you want to do and you want to run those applications in a reliable way so so the problem what we are going to face here is that we are talking about a lot of resources in the cloud hundreds of machines or thousands of them and hundreds of network devices storage devices databases and things like that and you have too many applications that need to run in those devices right some of the machines are supposed to run your production applications and while some other machines are used for running some test and dev applications and then some of those machines are supposed to run some web based application some of them are supposed to run some of your back and microservices and then right uh, so every machines will have its own roles and things like that so different different tools that your company uses to manage those applications they need to have a knowledge on what your infrastructure is what are the different resources that are part of your infrastructure and how they should be configured right i mean if you are running using a pipeline to build and deploy your applications this tool need to know which application needs to be deployed into which machines right so there are a lot of information that uh, that all your tools should be aware of right what the machine roles are and which environment they belong to and stuff like that so we are going to talk about how you can use terraform to create proper identifiers for every resources that you create in the cloud then other tools can automatically detect those identifiers to understand what those machines are right so let's get started and uh, our idea today here is that so we we are going to use terraform to create a bunch of resources in the cloud and this is going to be a demo based session today that we are going to do and uh, so in uh, i'm going to use aws uh, for this and uh, my idea is that i want to create and manage a bunch of machines uh, in aws uh, and some security groups and things like that using terraform and at the same time terraform would be tagging all those machines aws allow you to create tags right i mean just like aws any other cl cloud provider google or azure whatever uh, provider that you use you have the ability to create identifiers like tags uh, things like that so uh, you can create tags like uh, this machine belongs to the production environment that would be one tag or another tag would be this machine is supposed to run act as a web server or this machine is supposed to act as a database server so the tags can actually become uh, an identifiers for every tools that you use in your company so uh, so i'm just going to take you to a quick demo uh, where we use terraform to create a simple machines and inside that machine i'm going to configure a website a web applications and then uh, then um, it is it is terraform who define the roles of the machines by creating the proper tags while it creates a machine so let's get into the demo <coughs> 
So what we are currently looking at is a Terraform manifest of a simple EC2 instance. Uh, right uh, i want to create three instances in the cloud as you can see here and then uh, i am i am uh, properly tagging those machines right uh, i call them type equal to web server so the machines are supposed to act like a web server and uh, environment equal to production so this machine is supposed to uh, be as part of your production infrastructure so uh, some tags that terraform would add in aws that would become a unique identifier of your machines in aws and not just that uh, your other tools like ansible jenkins or whatever other tools that you use in your company would use those tags as the unique identifiers of the machine so that's how they discover what machines it is right um, so and and let me quickly walk you through the code here <coughs> So you can take a look at my VS code and just this is just a simple Terraform manifest. It creates a security group. Uh, one resource is a security group which opens the port number 80 and things like that. And uh, most importantly, uh, it is creating a proper tag to the security group as well. Type equal to web server and environment equal to production. So that is one resource that my Terraform is creating and another resource is uh, a EC2 instance itself, right? Three machines I'm creating. And then I'm create, making sure that the machines are tagged with proper name, right? Because this machine is a web server and it belongs to the production environment. I create the appropriate tags here using Terraform and these tags would be permanently saved in your AWS account by Terraform and it would be managed by Terraform. And then uh, I also make sure that the machines are created using a key uh, so that my tools, other tools who want to log into these machines and configure the machines uh, already have access, so I don't really have to push the key. I am launching those machines with a key which my tools already have access to. So uh, you will, <coughs> uh, we will later, uh, uh, we will use Ansible to uh, configure the machines and that is when this key would become useful. Ansible uses this key, right? Uh, all right, so this is my Terraform manifest and I'm going to apply this manifest by executing the Terraform apply command as usual. So that's what I'm going to do. I go to my command line and I'm going to execute this command Terraform apply. Uh, give me a second. So this is uh, the folder I have kept my Terraform manifest. Sorry. And this is the main.tf file that I have just demonstrated. And I'm going to apply the Terraform manifest to my AWS cloud, which would uh, right, uh, obviously create a security group and three EC2 instances in my AWS account. And most importantly, it would tag those machines. So I'll just apply and that, and that is done. Now the machines are being created in my AWS account and they are tagged with some appropriate tag and that that's great right cool so so now my infrastructure is ready with a single command i provision my infrastructure to run my website so it's a web application that i want to run into this infrastructure that i just provisioned so basically a symbol apparently a symbol one three machines and one security group and now let me let me configure these machines right so that's what i'll do next i go to configuration part of the machine. So uh, generally, uh, configuring the machine normally means making sure that the machine has everything that machine should have, right? That's what it means. So uh, if you want to run a website, you might want a web server and you might want the web server service to be running in that machine and you want to make sure that your website is copied to that machine so that it can serve your website to the people. So uh, I'm, I'm going to configure a web server today and I'm going to use Ansible. If you don't know Ansible, Ansible is a tool that you can use uh, and you can write YAML code that would actually define how your machine is supposed to look like. For example, if it is a front-end web application, you want uh, that server to have a web server like Nginx and you want Nginx process to be running in that machine and you also want to make sure that some website, you are running website should be copied into the Nginx so that Nginx can now serve this website to the people all over the world. So, so Nginx is a tool that can make sure that your machine 
has everything that it need right so so that's what ansible is and um so i'm going to quickly show you a demo about ansible and uh, what ansible does is just like any other tool in my company i would configure them in this way i want ansible to check my aws account and look for those tags created by terraform and identify the machine so if the machine has a tag called web server then ansible will assume that it's a web server and if the machine has a tag called production then ansible will assume that it is a production web server and then ansible will apply the settings what those machines need to look like for example every web server should be installed with nginx and every production machine should be copied with the production website right so these are the things that ansible makes sure so i'm going to um, i'm going to ask ansible to check my aws account and look out for the tags right uh, look out for the tags uh, of my ec2 instances and group the machines based on their tags and then inside ansible i have created a bunch of playbooks uh, to specify what those machines should be configured with so if i quickly show you a demo of the code my ansible code looks something like this if you uh, i have a file called uh, setup web server so basically uh, it is uh, working on those machines that are tagged with web server and there are two tasks that it will do uh, nginx it will make sure that nginx is installed on those machines that has this tag called typical to web server and it will also make sure that nginx is running on those machines if the machine has the tag typical to web server so these are the two tasks that i have in my ansible and ansible automatically apply this task to those machines who has the right tag in your in my cloud provider and similarly i have one more ansible playbook where it it copies the production website if the machine has a tag of environment equal to production so that's what ansible do so ansible i already asked ansible to check my aws account figure out what the machine roles are based on their tag apply the playbook to those machines so that's what i'm going to do using ansible i go back to my command line i go to the folder ansible so my infrastructure is now ready the terraform apply command is finished and infrastructure is ready now using ansible i'm going to apply uh, the playbook settings i mean basically making sure that all those machines that terraform created is now going to be configured using ansible and all i need to do is um, uh, i need to run this playbook there is a playbook called uh, setup web server aws that is responsible for installing and starting nginx and then the other one is responsible for copying my production website to those machines so and remember uh, now terraform and ansible are completely decoupled right uh, terraform does not ansible does not need to ask terraform where exactly uh, which one are web surveys or which one are database machines no basically terraform already created the necessary tag in aws and ansible is directly talking to your aws account identifying the tags and configuring that so that is awesome right so uh, you want to decouple your tools i'm just taking ansible as this example you might be using other monitoring tools in your company to monitor your infrastructure and the monitoring tool wants to identify different different machines in your infrastructure so whatever tool that you are using you get a proper decoupling between terraform to those tools so every tools can work individually based on the tags that you created in the cloud right that would be awesome right and this is done and, and now now the next task uh, so this task is for ansible apply all the web server machines it install nginx and then i have another playbook what it does is it will copy all those production machines ansible will copy uh, the production website right so that's what the next command will do ansible playbook command would actually this time would copy the website so we we uh, you got the point right so check the machines in aws and find out their roles based on the tag and apply the settings right that's what you'd want to do so uh, that's uh, that's pretty much that i want to talk about today and sorry it was probably a bit fast because of the time limit so that's that's pretty much i want to talk about today and if you want this whole thing to be integrated using jenkins for example you want to simply run a jenkins pipeline your developer might want to do everything at one shot right for example 
they want to store their code in github and whenever they make some code change in the github you want your jenkins to provision a complete infrastructure and then configure the infrastructure in a fully automated way so that can be done all you need to do is just copy your commands into a jenkins pipeline as simple as that so i, I can quickly show you a jenkins pipeline over here you can actually see i have written the same steps that i have run manually but this time uh, you can check out the code from github but today i have just already kept the code inside my jenkins server and Gen from the jenkins server i execute the terraform apply command that would provision a new infrastructure for your applications and then uh, it uses ansible to set up those machines once uh, terraform provisions those machines and then next thing uh, uh, yeah, Ansible is doing two-step process. First step, it configure the web server. Next step, it configure the production websites. And right, you can at your convenience you can uh, arrange the steps and things like that. So, uh, and yeah, you can do a lot of things, right? So uh, store everything in Git and have Jenkins configure. And maybe uh, it is best for creating the preview environment. For example, your developer makes some code change. And you want to quickly create a preview environment, create a Jenkins job that would create the preview and delete, right? You say terraform destroy command at the end to delete the preview environment automatically. So that would be awesome, right? Uh, you just, your developer makes some code change and within a few minutes, a new infrastructure build and it get configured and a developer can see the preview and then you use terraform itself to destroy it once you are done with all the testing. So try that and this is pretty much I want to talk, talk about so thanks and um, yeah uh, bye